The, now, sorry, Mike, I'm just going to ask you to jump in for a sec because, with, I mean, you're the one who's seen, I think, probably the most the environmental arguments that uh, the environment that I've sort of created, or my wife and I have created for Izzy. Um, it seems fairly valid. I mean, you don't, I mean, there's no mean people around her, right? No, there's no mean people around her. And if anything happens that's even slightly concerning, she comes up to you and you talk about it. And sometimes you talk about it for days. Or sometimes it comes up for a few weeks. If it's anything that's out of the norm that she doesn't quite understand. And, I mean, certainly I've witnessed firsthand, once you have that bond, I mean, there's a level of protection there that... I mean, I certainly didn't have, and I think every child absolutely deserves. I mean, you don't have to worry about any, you know, the strange guy in a van stories or anything like that. I mean, you you know everything that happens with her, even if she goes to, like, a gymnastics camp or something of the sort, because she tells you everything, because you have that trust and you have that bond. Yeah, so, Patrick, uh, I think it's... um you know, prepare the nest. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, and I, and if, I, you, I, if you, if you, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. And I, and I think, I think the, the, our primary job for preparing the nest is to fix ourselves. I think at this point, I think, uh, I've done a good job over the past couple of years. And especially since I started listening to you about kind of clearing, uh, the, the, the bad people out of our lives and the drama out of our lives. And it's been so much more peaceful. Um, and so that has kind of created an environment where maybe now we can start to work on ourselves um, 